learn how to do the commissioning of I.O. link devices in Festo Automation Suite. For using I.O. link devices in Festo Automation Suite you need the I.O. link plug-in and the I.O. link extension. If you install either one of them, the other is installed along with it automatically. In order to configure an I.O. link device, the CPXAP system the device is connected to needs to be configured in Topology Editor. There are several possibilities for adding I.O. link devices to a project, please check out our dedicated video tutorial on that. For this tutorial, I will import the system from a device scan, because that way some settings are applied automatically. Missing IODDs are installed. Connections are created to the correct ports of the IO Link Master. And the IP address of the CPXAP interface module is correctly set up. I am now opening the plugin of the IO Link device. And connect to it. The system now tells me that the parameter values on the device do not match those in the project. I choose to transfer them from the device into the project. On the parameter page device, you can find some details on the IO link device. Here you can also change the current user role for editing parameters. The page connection provides information on how to do the wiring. There's a dedicated page for displaying process data sent and received by the device. Here you can also write process data for testing purposes. Input and output thereby are considered from the perspective of the PLC. Device control provides access to all device functions that are defined in the IODD. For example, I can now trigger movement tasks on my small electric cylinder. The I.O. link page shows details on the device communication and the version of the IODD. If you need to change the IODD version, first disconnect from the device. Via the parameter list, all device parameters can be set up that are described in the IODD. Please note that depending on the selected user role, some parameters may be hidden. While connected to the device, any parameter change is sent to the device immediately, and all parameters are read from the device cyclically, such that the values shown in the plugin are identically to those active on the device. The Diagnosis Page Device State shows all diagnostic messages that are currently active on the device. Similar to Servo Drive plugins, the IO Link plugin supports recording and graphically displaying device data. First, I choose the parameters I want recorded. In contrast to Servo Drives, trace recordings in the IO Link plug in need to be started and stopped manually. Let me now execute some movements again. And stop the recording. Analyzing the recorded data is now possible on the page trace display. If you want to know more about how to use the trace display, there's a dedicated video tutorial for this. The diagnosis page command line allows to write process data and read or write data objects in a generic way, using their IDs. This can be useful if you need to modify or read a parameter that is not described in the IODD.